All right, lads, it's Lana. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I am pretty tired because I've been up all night. Um, I'm traveling today and I had such bad travel anxiety last night and I couldn't find my propranolol. Pro pro <laughs> I can never say that word. My propranolols. Ah! So I couldn't sleep. Luckily, Slave Andy's come to pick me up. Hey, Slave Andy. <laughs> So he's driving me to the airport now, thank goodness, because I was running late. Um, I got up late today and then I had to, I've missed check-in. I tried to do my online check-in, but it took me so long to do the passenger locator that I missed online check-in because it was one of those check-ins where you couldn't upload, you couldn't check in without submitting the passenger locator. And it was all this stuff, it was like, oh, I can only be in my uh, country of destination for 36 hours because I'm going for like work, but it's like private because it's my business or I don't know, it was so weird and I had to figure all that out. I couldn't figure out what country my list was on, so that was a big ordeal, so I've been really, really stressed. Um, yeah, so that's why I look like crap. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you, Slave <Slim> Andy. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll be at the airport soon. Oh, and... The country I'm going to, you have to wear a certain type of mask called an FP2 or something like that. So I need to find them in the airport. So yeah, it hasn't been a plane sailing trip so far. And I've only just left my bloody house. So yeah. So I might as well tell you, I'm in Milan. You're gonna see it in the title anyway. Um, I've been in Milan for a few hours now. Um, as soon as I landed, I asked reception, like, when is everything closed tonight? And they were like, oh, normally around midnight. And I was like, right, okay, I need to go out, make the most of my time here. So I went out, ended up going to this bar. I just went to the busiest one on the street. I'm, I'm staying on the Navigli, which is like the big canal. Went to the busiest bar on the street and they were like, <laughs> looking at me and I was like, yeah, one. And they were like, and your friend? I was like, no, just one. They were like, are you sure? I was like, yes. Um, and as you can see, my hair's a mess. I've got no makeup on and I'm wearing a tracksuit because this is what I flew in. But I just really didn't have time to get ready when I got in. And I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to fucking go out and just for the, you know, for an hour. Um, and then I was sat with these um well, actually the the girl was like, "Oh, I'll put you next to people who speak English." And I was like, "Oh, brilliant." You know, just for a bit of atmosphere or whatever. And then um, I ended up sitting next to these, like, so I'm here for fashion week. And um, I ended up sitting next to these two lads who are fashion models, like catwalk models. Um, and it was just so interesting talking to them and, like, finding out, like, I don't know, it was just mad. Imagine being, like, I think they were, like, 20 year old. I was like, imagine being 20 years old and working for, like, Fendi like huge brands like oh I can't even list them up to my head but they were like rattling off all these different brands and I was like that's crazy like that they're just here doing all these cat catwalk shows and they're just like so young <laughs> but anyway so I had like um a couple of drinks and I called it a night because I was like I've got a busy day tomorrow I want to get up early and do some vlogging and some TikToks and stuff so um but yeah, I've enjoyed my first night in Milan. Lana Wolf going out in a fucking tracksuit and like I had my Adidas three stripes on and then I ended up sitting up, sitting with the fucking fashion models of Milan. <laughs> what is my life? Anyway, I need to save my battery because uh, the hotel doesn't have an adapter and I forgot to bring one. So first thing tomorrow, I'm going to have to go and get an adapter and charge my phone somewhere while I'm having breakfast. But yeah. See you tomorrow and hopefully I'll look a lot better than this. <laughs> Good morning guys. It's Saturday morning and I'm just about ready to go outside and explore Milan. So I'm going to show you my outfit of the day. I thought it was quite girly and pink. Um, I wanted to go for like Emily in Paris vibes but instead of Emily in Paris we have Lana in Milan or Milana if you will. <laughs> So I've got my pink Stone Island jumper on, a pink skirt and my black boots. But of course I am going to the CP Company exhibition today. So I'm just about to CP Company the F out of this outfit. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. So first I've got my CP Company body warmer that I got from Casual Basement. You can see me unboxing this in a previous video. 
Um, I feel like it's probably a bit big for me. And these pockets kind of like on camera, it doesn't really do it justice, but I swear it looks better in real life. Um, so yeah, I've got this one first. That is quite cold in Milan, so I think I'm gonna take this jacket. Um, I'd like to be able to wear it without, but like I said, it is quite cold and I am wearing a skirt and no tights, so I need to be warm. So this is my CP soft shell jacket. And I've decided to unzip the body warmer just because I prefer it when you can see the pink because like I still like to look feminine even though I'm wearing a boys brand. <laughs> and of course my CP company goggle hat. I'm so happy that I got a replacement for the one that I lost. How much CP company is too much CP company? Only joking, there's no such thing. <laughs> right, so I just got to the main bit of one. Eee, look at that, it's the Duomo. Now the um, amazing shopping center is nearby. And there's a few shops that I wanna go to while I'm here. So I'm gonna go and find them. I also really need to charge my phone. I'm such an idiot for leaving my adapter at home. So I need to go and charge my phone before um, the CP event starts because I wanna film some stuff for YouTubes. Honestly, this video should be renamed Lana Wolf's 5% Battery Challenge in Milan, literally. <laughs> Look where I am! Eee! Oh my god, I think I'm about to pass away. Oh my god, is it closed? No, it's not. Hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, they've told me to go up the stairs. Oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm about to pass away. Look at all the things, oh my goodness. All stonies. Absolutely love that colour. So I'm just trying on this cardigan from Stone Island because I don't have a cardigan yet. Um, it really doesn't look very good to this outfit, but imagine if I was wearing like a cute brown skirt, I think it would look really good. So I'm going to buy this as a souvenir from my trip to Milan. <laughs> Look at the new collection for summer. Look how colorful. Oh my God, I love it. Right, so I've just come out of the Stone Island shop. Woohoo! Um, it was actually a 30% off sale as well. So it was like quite affordable. It was like 200 and something euros for what I got. But yeah, I wanted to get a souvenir while I'm in Milan. Obviously, I've never been to a store which is just a Stone Island store, I think in the UK. I'm not even sure that we have one. I think they said that in the shop. They were like, yeah, in Scotland, they don't even have a, an actual Stone Island store. It's just places that sell Stone Island. And I was just talking to the staff inside about why I'm here and how I'm going to the CP Company event. And the staff said, oh, did you know that CP Company and Stone Island used to be run uh, or the, owned by the same people? And I went, no, I didn't know that. I thought you were competitors. And he went, well, kind of now, but back in the day, we used to be like brothers, twins. And I was like, oh, you learn something new every day. I'm sorry if that's common knowledge for everyone else, but I didn't know it until now. <laughs> now there is a Stone Island Junior over there and we have established that I fit into a kid's age of 14 however there is not a chance in hell that I am walking into a designer shop in the centre of Milan asking to try on kids clothes <laughs> look at all the pigeons oh my god ah no <laughs> oh my god ah they're pecking me! <laughs> oh my god! Look, I've got a pet pigeon! Oh my god, guys, look at this. <laughs> I'm at the CP event. I'm not sure if I can film inside. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, I'm here. Oh my god, I'm inside! <gasps> wow! I'm not sure why I'm surprised about this, but literally everything is in. Italian <laughs> but it's so confusing because the titles are all in English but then all the descriptions are in Italian check this out guys <gasps> interactive <laughs> guys look at this Barber and CP company together <sighs> That is a nice jacket. So C 
50 I hear behind me means I'm guessing 50th because CP Company is celebrating its 50th anniversary. That's five decades of casual sportswear. Look how old this one is, 1975. So yeah, 1975. As you can see, this one is so old, it's still called Chester Perry, which is where CP obviously comes from. But they um, they actually had a lawsuit from Fred Perry and Chester or something, I can't remember. And that's why they had to change it to CP Company. So that's your fun fact of the day. So this is another example of what the Chester Perry badge used to look like before they changed it to CP Company that we know today. Look how old that is. <laughs> That's so crazy. I find the only body warmer in this exhibit. <laughs> Apart from the one I'm wearing, obviously. Woo! That's kind of like what I've got on with all the bloody pockets. Oh look, you can see me in the reflection. Hello! <laughs> So I'm back in the centre of Milan near the Duomo. I finished the CP exhibition and I went back to my hotel for a little bit. Just wanted to show you what the cathedral looks like at night. Isn't that lovely? But one place I haven't been yet is in there. Which is the big fancy shopping centre. Unfortunately, it's not going to look as nice at night time, is it? Because it's all the, it's a glass roof. Um, but the reason I've come back into town really is because I want to go to the AC Milan store because there's a player issue football shirt that I want. So yeah, I need to go there before it closes. It closes at seven, so I better get a move on actually. And then tonight, I don't know. I haven't had like a proper meal yet since I've arrived. <laughs> So um, hopefully I'll find a nice restaurant and I'll have like some proper authentic Italian food. Mm. What an absolute fail. Imagine coming all the way to Milan and missing the whole fucking thing. I'm such an idiot. I should have just came by here this morning when I was here. Ah! <laughs> it's not meant to look like that. <laughs> it's meant to look a lot nicer than that. The AC Milan shop is just up here. I wonder if there's any sexy ultras standing outside. <laughs> there we are, the AC Milan store. I'm so glad it's not closed. I better hurry up there. Yay, I made it. So this is the one that I like. It's the season's third kit and it's player issue. So I think I'm gonna get that one. All right, lads, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I have been back from Milan for quite a while now. Um, almost a week, actually, no, not quite a week. I got back on Sunday and it's Friday today. Um, so I thought, yeah, it's about time I finish this video. So I think I did have the intention of filming a bit more and um, stuff like that, but I ended up, <laughs> I don't know if, you've, if you saw my really embarrassing Instagram story that I did. But I got um, quite intoxicated, shall we say, on the Navigli, on my last night. Um, I met a group of Italians. Well, in fact, it wasn't even a group. It was like two guys and then a couple. So, and then me. So like none of us knew each other. And um, the only way that I could communicate with them was through the language of tequila. And literally laughing and smiling and yeah, yeah, tequila, woohoo. Um, but I ended up having a little party back at theirs and getting back to my hotel at like stupid o'clock and then I had to get my flight the next day. And I was supposed to get the bus, which costs nine euros, but because I was too much of a wreckhead, I had to get a taxi and it ended up costing me a bomb. Take a picture, screenshot if you want, because it's not very often that you see me in a kit that's not a ranger's kit. But when in Milan, although I'm not in, in Milan anymore, but still. Well, this is what I bought in the AC Milan store. It's the player issue third kit. I really liked it. And I, do you know what? I don't normally buy football tops from other teams that aren't Rangers, but I just thought while I'm in Milan, I might as well get like a little football souvenir. Even though I had to fly back on Monday, so I couldn't go to the game, I would have gone to the game. And I'm really gutted that um, I missed it. But, and I also had Rangers on Tuesday, so, you know. Um, I didn't buy the shorts because I don't always buy the shorts because normally when I do my um, Instagram pictures, 
I just do without. Um, so sorry if you think it's criminal that I'm wearing Adidas shorts with a, a Puma top, but alas, I do not have black Puma ones. Um, and I got the socks just because, I don't know, I just think this kit is pretty hot. Um, so yeah, check out my Instagram, lanawolf1872, if you want to see some pictures. Um, I'll probably post one when I'm uploading this vlog. So if you watched this video all the way to the end, thank you so much. It really helps my channel. And I also really appreciate all your thumbs up and comments. I'm replying to all comments at the minute. So if you have any questions or want to give me some feedback, go ahead and I'll give you a reply. I hope you liked this vlog. It was a little bit different, obviously going on a little solo adventure to Milan. Let me know if you enjoyed it and if you'd like more vlogs like this. I'm young, free and single. And this year is all about getting out there seeing the world, experiencing new things, and making memories. And if I can film those memories on a vlog and share them with you guys and you enjoy it, then I'm happy and that's good with me. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.